Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants for your car, truck, van, SUV, boat, motorcycle, bulldozer, semi, you name it, Amsoil makes a lubricant for it. Folks, listen, I started, I didn't understand what Amsoil did until it was 1992. Um, you know, so I missed out on probably 15 years of my automotive career not knowing how to prevent engine wear and and you know and it's embarrassing but i didn't understand how amsoil worked until uh it was 1992 and if it was up to me i would have never sold a quart of anything but amsoil what's the point of being a decent mechanic if you can't protect the the very equipment that you're working on you know i'm i mean when i got into this industry you know i you know and i don't mean to sound boastful or anything but by golly i wanted to be as damn good at it as you could get you know i wanted to learn every little aspect there was and then take it from there you know re-engineer if i needed to to, to make things better you know uh prevent a customer from having a repeated issue even if the even if the manufacturer was giving you a lousy part that that was my goal you know and then to, to it to be 1992 before I realized there was actually an oil out there that ran to heat and friction as opposed to getting hot and thin and running away from it or turning to sludge and you got to drop the oil pan off the engine because the sump's plugged up. That stuff doesn't happen with Amsoil, you know, and that's the reason that was why I was so impressed by it. And then we did our further testing. You know, back in 92, I was a pretty young guy, you know, shoot, I was probably in my late 20s, early 30s. So we really pulled out all the stops. I said, let's just find out just how heat resistant this oil is. So we put a frying pan on a hot plate. I mean, we're talking jig clamp it here. I mean, hillbilly, you name it. We heated this pan up and then, uh, oh boy, it worked for me. He says, well, let's see what happens. We pour this, he teased, poured a little Valvoline in this thing. The oil jumped out of the pan. <laughs> <laughs> it literally jumped out of the pan. I never seen anything like it. It was hilarious. We're sitting there cracking up. Now you got to remember, this is 1992, and then we went and we poured some Amsoil in this pan that was literally glowing red by this time. Old cast iron skillet. This oil did not jump out of the pan. It literally started moving by itself, trying to get to the middle of this white hot pan. I never seen anything like it in my life. I'm going. Well, you know, I know this is a stupid test. This is really a stupid test with oil. But when you watch oil trying to run to something as hot as that white hot in the middle of that cast iron, that black cast iron skillet, I'm sitting here going, this is crazy. And then we even had to try the, the Valvoline one more time and watch it jump out of the pan. I couldn't believe there was that much of a difference in, in what oil did. But at that point, I, I paid I paid attention, and you know I know that that is really I mean for a, for a chemical engineer to have watched what we did, I mean we were probably on the world's dumbest videos. But what that showed me was there was a major difference in the resilience of oil when it comes to temperature. And I said, you know what? I said if it does the same thing in an engine, which it does, it runs to heat and and, and friction. I said an engine would never wear out, especially if you're using an oil that can't turn to sludge to start with because it's not made out of sludge. It's not been derived from sludge. I said, this is an amazing product. I said, you know, I said, I'll have customers that'll literally be able to keep cars as long as they want without it ever breaking the bank. I, I, I said, you know, and, and, and from me being in the industry that I am and, and have been for so many years, that that was the most impressive thing I have ever seen in the automotive uh, field in my whole entire life as far as products go. And that's the reason I swear by it, you know. And I tell folks, well, be careful if you do your own Jeg Clampett uh, heat experiments with Amsoil. You might want to wear some goggles and some long sleeves. But it's amazing what the oil actually does. And it's the only oil I've ever seen do that. So if you want... Folks, with today's engine technology, you know, are fuel injected, computer controlled, well, not only does it apply to cars, trucks, vans, RVs, and pretty much anything from 1985 on, it also applies to marine engines too. So if you've got any marine engine questions, uh, no starts, broken timing belts, uh, 
uh, overheat issues, anything along those lines with your boats, you know, make sure you go and you post those questions and email me, Larry, at magicmechanic.com. And don't forget about the Magic Mechanic radio show every Saturday from 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our new YouTube channel and make sure you leave your comments.